YouTube main bearing 68 here. I saw a couple of videos on how to make a worm farm, and there's a uh, couple of different worm farm kits that you can buy on Amazon, and I thought, eh, I'll try to reproduce this. Uh, what's his name? Prepper did a video. He got a new. Uh, he, he had a worm bed in a in a tote, or uh, you know one of those totes that you get at the big big uh, department stores, plastic. And he was re doing really really well with that. But then he decided to go with this um, this kit that he bought. And I thought I would this potting soil here that I'm showing is an organic choice potting mix. Uh, it, it's it's like a compost almost. It's nothing got any chemicals, uh, you know, or fertilizers for your flowers or vegetables or whatever you want to grow in it. That's the reason I chose it because it says organic on it. Um, I'm going to use this as a starter medium, and then put, you know, peelings and um, scraps and stuff like that, paper, uh, newspaper, or whatever that we have junk mail shredded up in my paper shredder and put it in here for the for the worms and I bought some uh, some worms fish bait and that's what I'm going to use for my starter. It's a very small container I know but these are the containers that I'm going to use. They're stackable and you start out with one you put your medium in the me media or whatever medium listen to me Put your media in the bottom, and then later, when it you know fills up with with compost or whatever, then you can put another one on top of it. With uh, I'm gonna drill some holes, or I may just cut the mesh, or cut out the bottom, and put some mesh. I don't know, but we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. I may just transfer the worms over from pot to pot. I don't know, but these are pretty small. But I wanted to try this on a small scale. My theory is, is a worm don't know how big his home is. As long as he's got something to eat, um, you know, he, he's, he's going to make worm poop, which is good for the garden, and um, going to make babies. But you want any, any animal, livestock, whatever that you have is, you know, what they produce and, 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 and reproduce. So, anyway... This is a, uh, a little torch lighter that I got. I like this thing. It's pretty cool. Everybody uses knives. I'm going to use this to open this item up. All right. Now, isn't that cool? All right. Well, that's it. I'll take some more pictures or video and as I move it right along and show you how this is done. The point of this is I've never had much luck with worm beds. But if I can do if I can reproduce what Paladin Prepper did in a small scale, then I should be able to you know, this is a minimal investment. These little totes here. These are the lids. These this little kit here cost five bucks. And this is what they look like. I'm going to put the media in here, put the starter worms in here, and then as it fills up, say it gets up to this line right here, my plan is to set the next one in that far. Now, I know there's going to be a gap there. But I think it'll be all right. We'll just set that right on top. Holes drilled in this right here. I'll drill several, several holes in this. And when you set that on top there, then you can just put scraps in this. And the worms will move upward into this level. And they'll consume everything in here. And then when they, what they leave here, then I'll obviously set the next one on top and on top and on top and on top. Then we can just take the bottom one out and dump it in the in the garden 
and then set you know this back in and keep keep, keep checking so we'll be able to rotate this thing as we go. That's the plan anyway. But um if you've got any ideas or any any helpful criticisms, also these lids will be able to, you know, snap down on the top. Uh, should I put air holes in this or not? It's not a real tight fit, as you can see. But if you think I should put some air holes in this, just let me know. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think about this whole idea. Will it work? Will it not work? I don't see scale being a problem. I don't see it being small. Like I said, worms don't really know their environment. As long as there's plenty of food in there for them to eat and the right media for them to, to live in, they should thrive in here. And if I can figure this thing out on a small scale, and you and your home reproduce this, if you can do this on a small scale, it's easier to learn when you have minimum investment. So that's my plan. Minimal investment, five bucks for this, five bucks for the uh, organic media, and uh, that's get ready to have the worms something to go on in the very first container. And then we'll just grow from there and see how this thing goes. So, anyway, main bearing 68, I'm out. God bless. Mm -hmm.